Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I have two new knives to show you from Civivi. This is the Synergy 3, and then we have the Button Lock Elementum 2 right here. So two new knives, we'll talk through the details. I'm gonna do a little bit of work here on camera, then I'm gonna EDC these guys and come back and let you know what I think about them. I can tell you the Elementum, extremely popular. Um, this latest version is just really, the action is really, so you can see the button lock, press it, boom. Really, really impressive. I really like to look at this knife. I think this is slick. I think that's a little bit trippy almost, the, the handle texture. So this is a, uh, this is going to be a uh, liner lock. Nice action with the flipper there. Uh, both very cool knives. Um, let me show you, we'll go through the uh, Synergy 3 first, then we'll look at the new Elementum. And then, like I said, we'll put them through some of the paces here. I'll EDC them and then I'll come back in a bit and let you know what I think about them. All right, so we got a couple different options for the uh, the Synergy. You can obviously see this is the one with the, like the tannish brown handle and then the black blade. They have one that has a Damascus blade and a black handle and then also one with a black handle, black blade. So for the one we're looking at overall length, 7.67 inches from end to end, your width 1.45 inches. Your overall height is gonna be 0.74 inches, blade length 3.24, blade thickness 0.12, Handle thickness 0.57, your weight is 3.7 ounces. It is Nitro V, which I find these guys do a nice job with their Nitro V. Um, it's becoming, I think, a more and more popular steel. That's It's not like a super high end, but it's a very solid steel, and it's better, I think, than some of the some of the junkier. It's definitely better than some of the junkier ones out there, the 8CRs and 3CRs and stuff like that. So Nitro V, uh, Rockwell hardness is 58 to 60. It is a flat grind, and you can see it does have a, a, a drop point there. The handle material is G10. Um, it's going to be tip up right hand carry. Uh, the clip material is stainless steel. And your designer is Jim O. Young. And I'll show you here real quick. You can see there's O. Young right there on the uh, right there on the blade. So just a quick look again. Really nice looking knife. I just think that's slick. There's a slot on your lanyard. Come back this way. And there's that. Okay, moving on to the Button Lock Elementum 2. We've got three options. We have a black blade, black handle, black blade, green handle, kind of like an OD. And then we have this one, which is the satin finish and the uh, the G10 handle, but it is, it's like a, um, a jade color. So some details on this. Overall length, 7.06. Your width is 1.19 inches. Overall height, 0.68 inches. Blade length, 2.96 inches, so just under three inches. Closed length, 4.11. Blade thickness is 0.12. Uh, handle thickness, 0.51. And your weight is 3.12 ounces. So pretty lightweight. Nitro V, similar to uh, the Synergy. So um, that's, a like I said, a steel I like. 59 to 61 Rockwell hardness. It is a hollow grind finish, a drop point. Um, stainless steel for your liner material. Tip up right hand carry. And as far as your pivot assembly, ceramic, caged ceramic ball bearing. And that thing is very, very smooth. As far as your price point for this, we're looking probably um, 60 to 70 bucks, give or take. And then for the uh, for the Synergy, we're looking probably 90 to 110, somewhere in that range. So, and then, you know, when they come out, usually they have sales and such. So um, these guys asked me to check these out before they were completely public and available. So uh, yeah, my guess is that when they come out, you're gonna be able to find some deals on them. So looking at these two blades, this one to me, Everyday carry, utility, outdoor knife. It just it just kind of feels that way to me. A little bit chunkier, feels a little bit heftier than this uh, Elementum 2. So this one to me is straight up EDC. You know, carry that around uh, just for everyday type use. This is not the type of thing if I'm working, cutting a ton of jute twine or rope or something like that, that I'm gonna go to. It's just, I think it's, it's I almost wanna say it's too classy. It feels just like such a nice looking knife. I wanna use it, but I also wanna keep it in nice shape. I really like those handles. That jade look, I think is cool. Um, the Synergy 3, it's not that it's, it's, I guess I, maybe I wouldn't call it classy. It's not classy. It's just cool. So I think there's a difference between a knife that I'm like, that's super classy. That one, I'm going to just work that thing. This kind of reminds me of some of the, uh, Ontario rat knives, um, that they have their folding knives, kind of a similar feel when I pick this one up a little bit beefier, but this is the kind of thing where I'm just like, you know, almost, I can I can see myself out in the woods using this for a variety of tasks, taking this camping, something like that. So 
With that said, I've got some cordage and stuff here in the truck. So we're gonna do a little bit of cutting here on camera and then we'll uh, EDC these for a while and see what we think about them. Real quick with your Civivi knives, pretty much every single one I've, I've received ever, you get this little carrying case. You also get some stickers inside and you get a cleaning cloth as well. And then they give you a little information about Civivi. But uh, the cleaning cloth is great for the knife and then also for your computer screens, phone screens, iPad screens, whatever it might be. So um, yeah, pretty much all the Civivi knives I've ever gotten come with this little setup. All right, Elementum 2, just cutting through some uh, rope that I've got here in the truck. No problem there, let's double it over. Let's go right to three, let's triple it over, see how it does. Not a super long blade, as we said, just under three inches, but let's see how we do here. Yep, no problem with that. All right, onto the Synergy 3. Grab that, cut through two, no problem. Three should be no problem too. Let's just get those all on the blade there. Yep, that does it as well. Got some webbing now. Give the Synergy 3 a shot with that. No problem. Maybe double it over. See how that works. There's two. No problem there. Let's do four. Let's just see how it does with four. One, two, three, four. So that's four times thick. Ready? Did it. Back to the Elementum 2 here. And we're going to get some footage of this guy or some cutting through some webbing. Got my son using the Synergy 3 doing some carving over there. And I'll get some footage of that in a second. This is three thick now for the webbing and the blade length of the uh blade is going to affect it it still does it but a little bit harder to you know cut effectively when you really got to sweep through something and the blade's not super long but again for my classy knife i'm using for these type of cuts definitely does the job let me show you real quick there's your pocket clip look how deep that guy runs so it is going to be tip up uh right hand carry so but that is really, really, that's nice and deep. And it's got kind of a cool angle there, right? So it's not just straight up. So when it sits in your pocket, it's gonna sit a little bit more like this if you put it in with that thing vertical. So there's your pocket clip on that guy. Quick look at the pocket clip on your Synergy 3. Also very, very deep. And again, kind of, you know, if this is vertical, you can see how this is gonna sit in your pocket. So um, looks like, yeah, it's gonna be right hand tip up carry as well on this one. Just to show you this one and the Elementum side by side, both kind of at that interesting angle. Cool, I mean, just more functional. But you can see super deep pocket clips, I like that. All right, so here's my son, just taking off some of the bark using the Synergy 3. Making an old fashioned rifle from World War One. Carving an old fashioned rifle from World War One with the Synergy 3. Not a sniper like always. Every people says I always thought that. Not a sniper, <laughs> just a regular, probably. I mean, it's called it. It's because they call rifles, so, like sometimes snipers. All right, we are back here to talk about the Synergy 3 and also the Button Lock Elementum 2 as well. So I've had, you know, a longer time. It's been a while since I made that first part of the video. Um, this one actually took on a four day adventure with my a buddy of mine who was turning 40. So we got out in the woods, had a, a couple different adventures. Um, yeah, this is a cool knife. Like I said, I see this as more of a utility, multi-use, everyday carry, but outdoor knife as well. And definitely um, this guy is, to me, is it's just a, an EDC knife for, you know, just daily use, basic tasks. I just, like I said before, I think it's so kind of classy looking that I don't want to get out there and bear down on this thing. It's just, that's not my jam. So they kind of fit into those two categories as I had suspected. Obviously, if you're like, that's very classy and I want to use it as an uh, EDC knife and nothing else, great. I want to use this in the woods, great. Just give you my take on these two. I do think, um, you know, Civivi is, um, it's like the more budget friendly end of Wii knives, but they're not cheap as in they're poorly made. They've got good designs. I mean, just look how smooth that is. Just press the button lock, boom, right? So it's not like it's, all gummed up or anything obviously it's new but it came to me being able to move that smoothly so i just think that's great um i, I was talking about these knives to a buddy of mine and he was like yeah doesn't isn't civivi kind of known for their simple designs and i think they are branching out a little bit but i do find their designs designs to be very kind of trimmed down simple and functional 
And I think that's true for both these knives. So I've got links if you wanna head over to their website or uh, purchase these knives down below. Check them out. I think, you know, they're they're good. I think they function in, to me, in different categories, but they function well in those two categories. EDC, all around utility, outdoor knife as well. So let's hear your thoughts on these blades. What do you think about them? What do you like? What would you change, etc.? Let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.